Hello bros, Lucario strikes again. Someone requested that I play Lucario and here it is. I hope you enjoy it and learn something. This game I will show you how to play Lucario and maximize your win rate. But first, let me tell you my build. The first build is the weakness policy. Because while doing extreme speed in the enemy, you are also taking damage while using that and it will maximize the damage of your extreme speed. The next one is the attack weight. So attack weight is very important when you are using extreme speed in order to fully utilize the damage of it. And once you get the 6 stack, the extreme speed will become overpowered. And the one most crucial build is the muscle band. So why muscle band? Because muscle band deals more damage than razor claw because muscle band deals damage with the remaining HP of the opponent. And the most of the Pokemon in this game is very tanky. That's why muscle band is prior rather than razor claw and also muscle band attack speed is very important to lucario because while using the extreme speed you rotate very fast compared to the razor claw so here i should reach level 5 in this laning but sadly our jungler takes the level 5 and also note that if you are playing a jungler don't take the experience of your team in the top lane especially when your team is at level 5 power spike so if the talon flame there did not get that wild pokemon i'm sure i will get level 5 especially my ho oh you -Oh is using a uh, xp share so again do not take the xp when you are using jungler on the top lane or the bottom lane if you are rotating so here i'm trying to get my stack here and finally i get level 6 stack attack weight which is very very pretty good in our late game so the bottom lane is get destroyed so i'm just farming the level 8 here and using my extreme speed so also note that when you are using extreme speed as you've seen in that wild pokemon there's a blue aura indicating that you can use the extreme speed without refreshing it so you always need to remember that once there's a blue aura you can reset your extreme speed but if there's not you will not refresh us your extreme speed so here if you're using extreme speed tied to hit a multiple targets and especially locking down the attackers in the game is very good when you are using an extreme speed and also when you are using a battle item full heal is very very one of the most important item to locario because while doing extreme speed you are very prone to cc and that's why you need to pop your full heal when you are performing the extreme speed in order to continue your combo so if you're using extreme speed try to hit multiple opponents and just like that as you've seen i prioritizing the attacker there when i'm using the extreme speed and also if there's no blue blue i mean blue aura in there you can use your bone rush and if the enemy pushes too far when using bone rush try to teleport in that spe specifically area because if you did not teleport when you're using bone rush there you can reach the opponent when you're using extreme speed so either you teleport to the bone rush or use it as escape mechanism or you will not continue your extreme speed so here i'm killing this venusaur which is very good to extreme speed because i can do resets and as you've seen i use the bone rush to prioritize there and i've seen greninja doing this stuff and also take note bros that when you are using your unite move it refreshes your extreme speed aura to the opponent so remember that if there is an enemy who doesn't have a blue aura or you use the extreme speed to that opponent and you use the bone rush and there's no blue aura on the enemy you can use your unite move to refresh and gain the blue aura of your opponent so if there is a blue aura you can reset your extreme speed so i can't really do a full tips on how to use the extreme speed because you really need to practice that combo because when using extreme speed 
also take note that it's very important to use extreme speed with a setting so follow the move set I mean the movement wheel when you're using the move set because if you're not using that settings it's really hard to use extreme speed especially when you're just you're just sliding your skill at the enemy while you are moving and uh, uh, well, uh, if you're using the movement movement wheel settings uh, it will make you easily use your extreme speed accurately and faster at the same time so here i died in the game and that's what that's what makes the extreme speed very difficult because once you miss your extreme speed 100 percent sure you will die so you really need to be creative you really need to hit your extreme speed very accurately it is okay if you are a beginner you should practice your extreme speed accurately and try to experiment it using the extreme speed faster at the same time so take note that if you are using extreme speed you are prone to cc so don't forget to pop your full heal and also take note that using extreme speed is very hard in this meta today because the enemy is very tanky and there's a lot of cc especially when you're using extreme speed and you don't have full heal it will cancel a lot your full heal so also take note bros that there's a bug when you're using extreme speed because either you hit your opponent and when he dashes forward to your extreme speed you will not gain any reset even it has blue aura so here is the combo of the extreme speed using extreme speed to the opponent and boosted attack using bone rush again and extreme speed so here i'm using my extreme speed bone rush reset extreme speed unite move to refresh the extreme speed and just like that i can one versus three the enemy and here i'm using my bone rush to reset my extreme speed and extreme speed boosted extreme speed boosted so remember the combo is extreme speed boosted attack bone rush extreme speed boosted attack and if you are level 13 bone rush you can reset your bone rush once again so teleport to the bone rush and use again the extreme speed and if you have unite move use that unite move to refresh your extreme speed aura and you can use again your extreme speed just like that bros that's the combo but you really need to practice first the accuracy of your extreme speed because it's really important than making a combo of it practice makes perfect so as you've seen i'm using my extreme speed not very good but just a uh, good good in the middle center but i hope you will learn something in this guide bros so here i know that i did not rotate at the middle because chandler trying to score and i know that ho 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 can defend that and make my team alive so i'm just killing this first and i'm trusting my ho, -ho there so after that i rotate in the middle lane to kill these green ninja and as you've seen i use my extreme speed very precise here so watch extreme speed extreme speed and use my bone rush reset extreme speed extreme speed just like that i did not use my unite move there because it's overkill i'm waiting for the next fight again so always take note that you need to hit multiple opponents and try to prioritize the attacker first if you are using extreme speed because they are very squishy and it's easy to use extreme speed and you can delete them very fast so just like that using extreme speed extreme speed bone rush extreme speed extreme speed bone rush reset again so here I'm using my extreme speed, extreme speed, extreme speed, and unite move. So if there's three enemy, you can use three extreme speed. And you can use the bone rush and three extreme speed again. And reset your extreme speed again. And if you use the three extreme speed again, you can use your unite move to refresh the extreme speed. And use again your extreme speed. Remember, the extreme speed can be reset when you are using the bone rush. The extreme speed can also be refreshed when you're using your unite move remember you can only use your 
extreme speed when there is a blue aura indicating at the enemy. So you need to take note that you need accuracy when you are using extreme speed. Work the progress in your speed but accuracy is better than speed. So thank you bros. I hope you learned something. Like and subscribe for more of this content. And I hope we reach 20 likes with this guide. Thank you bros and stay hydrated as always.